What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. Uh, welcome in, everybody, man. We got to talk about this whole Liv Morgan situation, man, uh, with Dom. And uh, I wanted to go more into it than I did in the raw recap video that I did. Uh, that's right before this one, I believe. So, let's get to it, you guys, because... I got some ideas for how this for how I think this thing should go. You know what I mean? Um first, there is a poll up right now in the community tab uh that you guys need to vote on. You can vote on it right now. Uh if you're watching this video and you haven't voted yet, make sure y'all get in there and vote like the poll as well. Um if you want to, you can send a comment. I definitely want to hear from y'all in there. We already have like I think close to ten comments in there right now. Um, in almost 500 votes, I believe, at the time that I'm doing this video. So, it's uh, it's only been up like uh, 12 hours, so it's pretty quick, pretty quick uh, turnout for that one. Uh, basically, just ask y'all if uh, y'all wanted, if y'all was okay with Becky Lynch winning the title, uh, or or you know, fuck Becky Lynch, basically. The other one that I'm going to do is is going to be about should uh, live join judgment day so that's gonna be the other poll that we're gonna have up um make sure y'all vote in that one as well that's a very important poll because i'm definitely trying to get people's pulses on that idea that i have and that's basically the basis of this video so let's get into it um uh, thank y'all for voting in advance on these polls by the way if y'all do vote so we saw what happened on raw Liv Morgan stared at Dominic, and that obviously is hearkening to something happening in the future between these two, okay? Now, another thing that's been going on in the background, there's been this turmoil within Judgment Day a little bit, right? There's been, before WrestleMania, there was a little bit of turmoil, right? Now Damian Priest has kind of gotten a bigger head. You know, he's got the title now. He feels like he's the boss. He's, uh, he's, uh... If, you know, they need him more than Do uh, Damian needs them. Uh, he told J.D. McDonough and Dom that on Monday on Raw. So, and we also still have in the background Dom threatening to potentially join his buddy Santos in Legado Del Fantasma. Uh, that faction over there on SmackDown with Electra Lopez. Uh, uh, Angel Garcia and uh, Humberto and all of them, right? So, there's been some threats to that from Don. Um, could it happen? It may. You know, something to keep an eye on. And then the other thing we have in the background right now is Rhea Ripley is going to be gone for a little bit. We don't know how many months just yet. We know she's going to be gone for a little bit. That's all we know. I haven't seen anything as far as, like, the number of months she's going to be out. I haven't seen any of that yet. If y'all have, y'all already know the answer to this. Um... But Rhea's going to be gone a little bit. So they that was their other leader of Judgment Day. And for a while there, it looked like Rhea was the sole leader of Judgment Day, right? At one point. Um, so she's out. And then the last thing that's going on in the background for Judgment Day is Finn Balor. Finn Balor has, might, have, might start harkling to some issues with Damian Priest. The thing with Damian Priest right now is that he's kind of just all about himself right now right he's wanted judgment day to help keep him as champ and all this other stuff doesn't really care about the rest of the group or he stopped caring about the rest of the group and he just cares about himself and we're, uh, one thing we got to figure out for last week because Finn Balor was interested in getting back the tag team titles with Damien but it didn't seem like Damien was really interested in that so we see turmoil all over the place in judgment day right then live herself, the person that took out Rhea herself. So let's talk about this. Okay. Liv is on a revenge tour right now. You know, she's trying to, in my opinion, I think she's trying to take everything that Rhea has. And I think if you really want to tell this story properly, because so far, it's had its ups and downs to me. Right, I think they had a really good start with it, but then I think what what soured a lot of people's taste is that Becky Lynch got the title. 
But supposedly, Liv Morgan is supposed to have a one-on-one match against Becky and probably get it there. Um, so, it's whatever way you feel about it. And that's why I put the poll up at the beginning of the video about are you okay with it or not so that I could get y'all read on the room for at least my audience to see if y'all like that decision. Are you fine with that decision to give it to Becky Lynch, the WWE Women's World Championship? So, now, when it comes to Liv Morgan, right, trying to take everything away from Rhea, you know, pound, pound for pound, taking everything away from Rhea. I think the way you tell the story is, is that with Liv, Liv should take away, these are the three things that's most precious to Rhea, right? You should take away, the first thing you should take away is the title, right? Take away the title. Next thing is Dom. She loves some, She loves her some Dominic. Third thing she takes away is her group Judgment Day. That's her family. So take that away too. Now you've got a, 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 a person that has that revenge and she's able to take all three things away from Rhea by the time she gets back. Boy, oh boy, well this, this storyline will be epic. And I think what you do is because Mommy is already over with the crowd, right? You know, Rhea's over with the crowd. Now all you have to do is draw on the sympathy card like you did for Cody Rhodes. You draw on the sympathy card. Now people are going to want to be seeing Rhea get that title from Liv, right? Because Liv is, should be outside of Nia Jax, the ultimate heel, right? You know, she'll be the ultimate heel in the women's division. Like, Liv should be this just monstrous, unstoppable little brat, right? That's running around doing whatever the hell she wants and she's got power now because by the time Rhea comes back she's got the title she took Dom away from her and then you got Judgment Day right so this is how this is angling this is how I think they should angle it right this is a discussion video you know this is not my regular recap videos but this is how they should do it so first things first Liv should be using Dom to try to get her foot into Judgment Day. If she wants to be in Judgment Day, she has to use Dom. We know Dom is kind of like an airhead, bro. He will give in the temptation on Liv. Now, obviously, he's on Mommy's side, right? He's on Rhea's side. Probably doesn't like Liv right now, right? That We saw the little angry look he gave Liv. But... What if Liv starts to befriend Dominic a little bit? Is you know smiles at him and shit, you know butters him up. Then all of a sudden she's got Dom in her back pocket. Dom start look at you already saw Dom bringing Santos and them over, right? Now Dom is gonna start bringing Liv over. Then you know maybe Damian starts to notice. Damian Priest starts to notice Liv a little bit, and he's like, hmm. You know, Liv is trying to make, you know, trying to make a plea. You know, let me let me officially join Judgment Day. Just like J.D. McDonough did, remember? But it doesn't have to be like a rookie hazing thing like they did with J.D. It could be more of a, you know, like, like Liv doesn't actually have to prove herself to get into the group. It's just one of those things where she should just get in there. Damien sees some of the things that she's doing. He's, and he's like, you know what? I think we can use you in Judgment Day. You know, I think you I think you got what it takes. We go from there. You know what I mean? Now we got we got our girl in it. We got our girl in Judgment Day now. Right? We got Liv in Judgment Day now. Doing her thing. Right? Right? So now. We, we got that far, right? Liv slowly starts to be in Rhea's exact position, right? And, bro, by the time Rhea comes back, she... Liv is basically Rhea, right? Liv, you could think of Liv as basically Rhea. 
Liv has turned into Rhea. Right? She got everything she had. The title, she got Dom, she got Judgment Day. She got everything she had. But here's where the problem comes in for Rhea. Now, it's difficult for her to get the title back, get Dom back, and get Judgment Day back. Because now you're going to start building the other storyline with Dom, where eventually he's going to start sliding away from Judgment Day a little bit, right? He's going to start sliding away from Judgment Day. Because maybe Dom doesn't like some of the changes that's going on, right? Since Rhea ain't been there, you know? You could build this angle where Dom is, he bought Liv in, but he didn't think Liv was going to mess everything up. What's a way that Liv could mess some things up? But it's actually good for Liv, right? Bringing in new members. Roxanne Perez. Let's say Roxanne Perez is getting drafted this weekend, right? Uh, on, on Friday on SmackDown or Monday on Raw, right? Roxanne Perez is on the main roster. Needs to fit in somewhere. You know, she's a heel right now, which makes her perfect for Liv to recruit her. Then from there, we just got to decide on one more person to put into Judgment Day. Just one more person. One more person joins Judgment Day. I will have Lyra Valkyria get drafted too. I don't think Lyra Valkyria needs anything else uh, in, in NXT. Either Lyra Valkyria, Blair Davenport, or um, I want to say Tatum. But Tatum has to be my perfect choice. But I don't know if they're ready for her to be drafted yet. That's the only problem I got with Tatum Paxley. But Tatum Paxley would be my perfect choice to be in Judgment Day. Like, if you had Liv recruit those two girls, and now Judgment Day got a little bit of a female part of the faction, that's great, right? So, here's where the Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell angle comes in that I was discussing a few weeks ago. Or about close to a month ago. Now... What you could do is this. Rhea comes back. She needs to find a way to get back in because she's got a couple of girls that's hard to get through, right? Rhea gets help from the two heels, Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. She mows them under their rings and she's going to find a way to get Damian Priest away from Judgment Day, right? Right? Because they're the Terror Twins. They're going to stay together for life. Damien Priest and Rhea are attached at the hip. But Rhea feels like Judgment Day right now is too different. You know, Dom has moved on to Legato Del Fantasma. You know, in the background, you can have her battling Electra Lopez because now Electra Lopez is dating Dom. You can do all sorts of shit with that. But also, Liv has a, has a stranglehold on Judgment Day right now. Like, Rhea knows she's going to need some extra help to get back in there or at least get Damian Priest away from Liv, right? Away from Liv. Like, that's going to be the whole purpose, and then that's where Rhea could start putting the, the pieces back together. She won't get Dom back, but she'll get the pieces back together, and then when she gets Damian back, maybe she gets her title back as well, right? She gets her title back as well. And now you pretty much, you ran the full cycle of the uh, Liv revenge story. Liv got her revenge already. She took everything. The, the revenge story is Liv taking everything away from Rhea, right? And then now we build it to the other side where Rhea tries to get her revenge on Liv, and that's how we end the storyline. You know, we culminated with Liv getting everything back, Judgment Day, and the title, you know? Uh, if they could throw another wrinkle in there for something else that they can take away from Rhea, it's all ears. But I haven't thought about yet what happens to Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. Maybe Liv, you keep Liv in the, in, in the position she's in. Maybe Liv takes Indy and uh, Candice away from Rhea. But I don't know how you'll do it. They got to figure that part out because I think there's something because one of the things I want to see with Indy is Indy at some point does what you remember Ludwig, uh, Ludwig Kaiser did to Giovanni Vinci last night on Raw where he beat the shit out of Giovanni Vinci for uh, Gunther. 
You can do the same thing. Indy Hart will beat the shit out of Candace. Beat the shit out. Like, and then this is where Indy separates herself from Candace. Like, because right now she's looking up to Candace. She's doing everything Candace tells her to do. But at some point, Indy is obsessed with the new evil side, dark side she has. And she's predicating to it. And now she wants to get Candace Ray on up out of here. You know what I mean? I think you could play the storyline like that, man. You know what I mean? So, that's just a little basis of We could continue to talk about this. We'll continue to do these these videos, man. I want to see what happens with the draft. Uh, that, that That's a big thing right now, seeing what happens with the draft. I usually do a, a pre-draft video, but I can't do one this year because I, I'm lost on NXT. I haven't seen NXT in a while. I need to catch back on NXT, so I don't even know who to suggest really for the main roster right now because right now i don't know like what girls are like down there right now and will have a place up here so i don't know man so we're gonna have to see about that but give me your thoughts on this so far man make sure y'all vote in the, uh, the, the community tab i mean vote, vote in those polls that the communities had and yeah, we'll go from there, man. But go ahead and get this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this one. After news to light.